All right, y'all, what's going on? It's me coming back at you again with another video. Um, Floyd Mayweather continues to run his mouth. Um, why? I don't know, and I don't understand. And um, I think this interview uh, is the continuing um, the continuing quotes that has been made from um, from um, from fight. Excuse me, I was about to say Floyd hype again. <laughs> Pardon me, y'all. Um, fight hype. All right, and um, he continued to make some statements. Uh, um, not only he continued to attack Broner, but he also went in on a couple more people here. Uh, he went in on Ronda Rousey, who, by the way, they've been having a war wars with each other over the past year. And, of course, his uh, all-time nemesis, Oscar De La Hoya. Now, he had to chime in on some things to say about uh, Ronda becoming the first ever MMA fighter to uh, grace the cover of uh, The Ring magazine which they dub as the Bible of boxing. Now, I know it's caused a lot of uproar and it caused a lot of people's heads to turn, including myself. But I will have to say one thing about that. For those people who are getting upset about that, uh, and I'm not necessarily, not necessarily saying that it's the Mayweather streamers that are, are getting upset about that. I'm sure there's other hardcore heads myself who are getting upset about it too, in a way. But it seems like the, the Floyd extremists are taking this really, really personal when they seem... Uh, Ronda Rossi covering, uh, gracing the cover of the uh, Ring magazine. Why? Obviously, because she's a female, and two, she's been uh, um, having a war awards and this type of rivalry with Floyd Mayweather. And obviously, when you're an enemy of Mayweather, you're an enemy of theirs. <laughs> so they will attack you, they would defame you, they would slander you, however they possibly can, just because they have their love and obsession for Floyd. Um, he says here that, quote, when he was asked about her on Grace and Cover, he said, well, you know, congratulations, but you know the sport is starting to look real bad when a uh, female fighter from a whole other sport is on the cover of a boxing book, end quote. Well, it's funny that Floyd say that because when he was the head or he was the, uh, the primary, um, the primary figure in the sport of boxing, he made it look bad by the way he uh, performed in his anti-climatic fights and his justification of choosing opponents that had no business being in the ring with them or were not worthy of getting a title shot against them. So he made it look real bad, and his era of boxing was extremely terrible. And that's one thing I hope he can concede to that. So for him to say that Ronda Rossi gracing on the cover of Ring Magazine makes the sport look bad, well, it does to the degree... But you have to understand, it's a business move, business move. And Floyd Floyd himself should know that, right, about business moves. You know, I don't want to fight a uh, dangerous opponent that people want me to see fight. I'm going to fight somebody that's less um, challenging so I can make them look good, make them look legit. Yeah, it's a business move. So with Rossi covering, uh, gracing the cover of Ring Magazine is a business move. So people are going to have to accept that. I don't agree with it, but that, you know, you're going to have to accept it. All right. So. Yeah, for him to make that comment about her, you know, on the cover of Ring Magazine, make the sport look bad. I mean, Floyd shouldn't even say anything about that because, again, his era of boxing was extremely terrible. And because of that, ratings has, has slipped. Um, no one is buying pay-per-views anymore. Uh, there's a lot more streaming now for uh, high-profile matches. And even PBC is struggling in ratings after that damn fight of the century that was overly hyped. Uh, had really, really um, left it, left a bad taste in casuals and hardcore fans' mouths. So Floyd shouldn't even, shouldn't even go there on that. That's just my opinion. Now on to Oscar De La Hoya. Uh, when asked about De La Hoya, he said that uh, he said that he has no fighters but Canelo. So other than that, he also went in and digged in on uh, Oscar's. Uh, uh, past of, of his uh, past drug use and his cross-dressing incidents, all right? Here's one thing I got to say about that. Though these two have been enemies for years, you know, it's understandable that some people may not like, like Oscar De La and some people definitely don't like Floyd Mayweather. But you have to understand one thing here. Floyd went further to even dig deeper by you know, mentioning what I just said, just initially just said about Oscar's um, uh, cross-dressing issues and his past drug use. I think that's taking it away too far because, number one, I never heard Oscar De La Hoya mention once about Floyd's uh, 
uh, domestic violence past where he literally beat up the wife of his, the mother of his kids right in front of them. All right. Right in front of them. Oscar's never mentioned that. He's never mentioned his uh, notorious um, gambling problems. He's never mentioned his uh, obsession with strip joints and, you know, strip clubs, whatnot. So, I mean, if Floyd wants to take it personal, then don't get upset if Oscar De La Hoya ever brings up those type of um, instances, all right? So, it's even playing field. So, for Floyd fans, I'm going to give you an example here how these Floyd fans are extremists here. They don't like when people point out certain things that will contradict their favorite fighter, all right? Number one, I was on um, 78 Sports TV's um, video where he actually uh, put up a... Uh, when he uploaded um, this, this similar issue that I'm discussing right now. And one of the commenters of that page says, well, I don't know, I don't know word for word, but I'm going to just do it from, I'm going to just quote it by verbatim. Um, this person says, fuck Oscar Deloitte, he's a drag queen, TBE, bitches, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to name this person because this person is a notorious commenter who just talks a lot of shit, but has no, is pretty much has no knowledge of boxing whatsoever, except for Floyd Mayweather. But anyways, this person uh, had made those comments, and then th another up uh, uh, commenter made a good point, as I just brought up a second ago, was about um, Floyd Mayweather. Um, this commenter said, "Well, at least uh, Oscar didn't bring up uh, <laughs> Floyd's issue about beating up women in, in his uh, in his um, uh, his notorious uh, gambling problems or whatnot. So why are you digging out Oscar for that?" And then this person said, "Well, first of all, I don't give a fuck if Floyd beat up women or not. That has nothing to do with boxing." And then I comment on that and say, oh, OK, so let me get this straight. So you're OK with Floyd Mayweather beating up women, especially the mother of his children right in front of him. You have no problem with that. Right. But yet you want to dig out Oscar De La Hoya for him for being a drag queen and, and for being a cocaine addict. Right. Is that is that OK with you? And then this person comments back and say, well, that's what the subject is about. Right. I'm not here. I don't care. I'm talking about boxing. That's what the subject is about. Right. I'm like, well, first of all, Oscar's personal issues has nothing to do with boxing so you don't you're not making any sense so <laughs> that just proves my point right now how extremists can't be rational all right and this particular person that i had comment you know that i had um had you know exchange posts with um this person even had the nerve and this is how stupid this person is and has no knowledge of boxing whatsoever this person went far to say that well when we're debating about how mayor Khan deserves a shot at floyd mayweather just like other other prominent fighters who should have gotten the shot, like Keith Thurman, Tim Bradley, Gennady Golovkin, Sean Porter, you name it. This person said, well, first of all, Amir Khan didn't, doesn't deserve shit. And it's funny because this person even said Amir Khan deserves a shot, then turns around saying he doesn't deserve a shot because he ran his mouth. Okay, fair enough. But this person said, well, uh, Kel Brook is the mandatory to Floyd's title, not Amir Khan. And I'm like, you are so fucking stupid. Are you that oblivious that you don't really do any research? Because Amir Khan is the mandatory because the WBC had installed him to be the mandatory. And Floyd was their title holder. Kell Brook is not a mandatory to anybody because he holds one of the major titles, major uh, sanctioning titles. So this person's like, oh, uh, well, uh, show me a link. Show me a link. I'm like, uh, it's not that hard. You can you can Google it. You can actually search the rankings on WBC's webpage. And so that person looked kind of stupid. So obviously um, that just proves my point about the uh, hypocrisies and the rationality of these uh, extremists. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Signing off. Peace.